This is Jonas with Yamamoto Rock Splitter. I'm here with Antoine 1TP. We are in Switzerland today to do a demonstration. We are demonstrating our Yamamoto Rock Splitter HRB 1000. We're here in this uh, beautiful area where they are building a new uh, house, a residential house, right next to all these other already built houses. Uh, they have to remove the rock to build a three-story building. Of course, using explosives in this area is, is a very sensitive subject. So they call us in to uh, use our rock splitter to remove the rock. So let's see how it goes. As usual, uh, before we can split, we need to drill. HRB 1000 requires a 102 millimeter or four inch uh, drill hole. And this customer is using a Sunbeat Dino 400 for drilling. The machine itself is a bit small for 102 millimeter holes, but they are uh, not drilling very deep. So it's, it's okay in this case. Uh, the benefit of, of a smaller machine is that, of course, a smaller footprint and it's quite easy to move in onto the job site. The hole spacing is roughly 60 to 70 centimeter, roughly two feet uh, center to center. Even with this spacing, the HRB 1000 can split the rock uh, even if there is not much of free face to split towards. With a proper free face, uh, we could probably increase the spacing a bit, but we don't want to increase too much as the splitter would run hot and get stuck more so the production may go down. The rock is quite hard. Uh, it doesn't look that hard, but it, it really is. They call it the nagel flu and it's a bit like concrete with uh, hard stones embedded in what looks, what looks like limestone. So even when using a 60 ton class rock breaker, you struggle quite a bit with the productivity. Plus the noise would uh, drive the neighbors mad. After two, three rows of splitting, we need to remove the split rock. Uh, this customer has a quick hitch uh, on the excavator, so it's quite quick to switch from splitter to the bucket. Just put down the splitter uh, and release the quick hitch and then pick up the book bucket. The quick hitch this customer is using is from Riedelberger in Germany. And this also handles the hydraulic connection so they don't have to screw or unscrew the hydraulic hoses. And the hydraulic connection points are protected by a cover while the tool is disconnected. Pretty smart solution. <laughs> 